was six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. And tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rolled down. I was younger then. Take me back to when I found my heart, broke it, hit me, friends, and lost them through the years. And I've not seen the boring fields in so long. I know I've grown, but I can't wait to go home. Good morning, Parkville. Welcome to PTV News. My name is Sophia. My name is Stephanie. Today is November 16th and it is a B-Day. And my name is Noah. We've got a new special segment coming up for you today. Stay tuned for that and more coming up after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, PTV would like to give a birthday shout out to Sabino Alina, Aiden Colbert, Mila B, Nevea Frierson, Hannah Marcus, Emily Nicer, Adrian Brown, Selena Ortega, Alyssa Flores, Ethan Gwynn, Reese Turner, and Boston Williams. Happy birthday to all of you, and I'm sorry if I messed up your name. Looking for something? Can't remember where you left it? Make sure you visit both Lost and Found stations. One is located in the main office and the other is in the open space outside of the library. Both places are currently chock full of jackets, binders, notebooks, keys, eyeglasses, and lunch boxes, all waiting to be reclaimed. Be sure to visit as soon as possible before these items are donated to a local charity. Ask your homeroom teacher for a pass or stop by on your way to lunch. The Builder Club's annual food drive benefiting the St. Stephens Food Pantry of Parkville has begun. Please submit canned food items to Ms. Zimmerman on or before December 7th. The homeroom with the most items donated per student wins a sweet breakfast treat. Please see Ms. Zimmerman with questions. Eighth graders, are you applying to a magnet high school? Well, this is a reminder that the deadline for magnet applications is today. Make sure you get those applications in. Orchestra and honor on solos are now selling Joe Corby's pizza, snacks, and desserts. Please see Ms. Zimmerman or Mr. Sheets for, for an order form and don't delay. Orders are due no later than no Monday, November 26th for our December 17th pickup. Any honor band or orchestra students participating in the performance of the national anthem at the Baltimore Blast game on de Saturday, December 1st need to turn in all permission slips and ticket sales by this Monday, November 19th. See you, Mr. Sheets, with any questions. Congratulations to all the sixth grade band and orchestra students for a great informants concert Wednesday evening. Mr. Sheets and Ms. Zimmerman are very proud of your hard work and want to thank each and every one of you for being there. We hope you enjoyed teaching your new family something new. A makeup rehearsal for the seventh and eighth grade honor orchestra will be held this Wednesday, November 21st, until 4 p.m. Snacks will be served. Sixth graders, you have earned a break. Ms. Zerriman will see you the following Wednesday, November 28th. Attention all seventh grade VGA and GT artists. Due to the weather delay and the resulting schedule, it won't be possible for Fullerton's first graders to visit today. We will make every effort to reschedule. Attention all students, Makeup Picture Day is Tuesday, November 20th, 6th grade during Mod 1, 7th grade during Mod 2, and 8th grade during Mod 4. Staff makeups will take place during Mod 3. Drama Club will meet today in room 2, 226. This meeting is for cast only. If there are any questions, please see Ms. Banos or Mr. Mac McGregor. And once again, Drama Club cast will meet in room 226 after school today. Due to the weather, the race for education has been canceled. Stay tuned for information about an alternative event. However, we will need to announce the winners of the $50 Visa gift card raffle. For every 10 mailers a student turned in to the PTSO, they received one entry into the drawing. There will be one winner for each grade level. Now, without further ado, the sixth grade winner is Adriano De La Cruz. 
condition. Congratulations, Harry Girano. The seventh grade winner is Haley Everd. Congratulations, Haley. And finally, the eighth grade winner is Andrew Nita. Congratulations, Andrew. All three winners should see the front office secretaries to claim your gift card. Our special segment for today is a teachers versus students drawing segment. Who has more artistic talent, the students or the teachers? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Stephanie and Hello. Sophia. And today we're doing a students versus teacher drawing contest. This segment will be used to determine who has more artistic talent, the students or the teachers. So let's get on with this video. Enjoy. Introducing Connor <laughs> for round one. <laughs> Philip O'Brocky Jr. <laughs> Philip Anthony O'Brocky Jr. And they will be drawing a dinosaur. Tell me about your drawing a little bit. Okay, so this is like its face and it has spikes going down its back and like it, you can't tell, it's very subtle, but it's got little spikes on its tail, which actually goes off the thing and I learned that in VGA. Um, and then I got the feet and it's very 3D because these are on the front and these are on the back and you can see these behind the toes. Oh, I went with the classic dinosaur. Old, tall, spots, scales. <laughs> My favorite dinosaur. But here's another dinosaur. <laughs> it also has the same qualities and characteristics. I prefer one over the other, though. Hence the hearts. The age is about right, though. Can you tell us a little bit about, about this one? Like oh, not this one? OK. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one, unlike Connor's, it doesn't breathe fire, because it's not a dragon. The dinosaur, which is why this is a draw the dinosaur challenge. I went for the uh, typical T-Rex king of the dinosaurs um, and you can tell he's king because he is tall and big <laughs> okay Stephanie who do you think is the winner Mr. O'Brocky I <laughs> do you have anything to say no and for the second round we're going to be drawing a donut our first contestant Izzy Miss Goodman. But I remembered I can't draw donuts, so I decided to make it a dancing donut. Because Very why not? So, Miss Goodman, what did you draw us today? I drew a donut. It is frosted with sprinkles on top. Um, it is on a plate with a cup of milk next to it. Um, but I actually like Izzy's better because it's dancing and it has a face and it's really cute. So hers is more creative than mine, and I know that because I'm an art teacher. The winner for round two is Izzy with her magical dancing donut. How does this make you feel? Appreciate it. <laughs> well, it looks like there was a tie. Thanks for watching the student vs. teacher segment. Stay tuned next time to determine a winner. That's up our report for today. Thank you for watching from everyone at PTV News. My name's Sophia. My name is Stephanie. And my name is Noah. Stay snapping, Parkville.